My name's David Tipling and I am a wildlife photographer with a passion for birds. I took my first bird photograph in 1978. Um, before that, I'd got interested in birds when I was a nine-year-old at school. And from then on, uh, I was just hooked. I had quite a creative urge when I was a child, but I was no good at painting or drawing. And so photography seemed like the natural medium to express that. I love photographing birds and wildlife. Um, I have a real passion for it, partly, I suppose, because it feeds my creative instincts, but I love being outdoors as well. And I love um, finding out new things and exploring. And when you're into wildlife, there's always something new to learn. And there's always new challenges as well, photographing different subjects. So, and it, it takes me to some fantastic places, like the place we're sitting in today. Sometimes I'll be working on specific subjects as I am here in the woodland, and I've been photographing sparrowhawks for the last few weeks. And here I have a hide with one-way glass, and I can spend many hours during a day just waiting, watching and waiting for that moment, that split second when something special really happens. I switched to using Olympus cameras around three years ago, and there were lots of reasons for it. But once I satisfied myself that had really high-end image quality and there was no issues with that. Then the, the weight, the portability, the size, and also the, the feature-laden cameras as well, um, just, just made it such a sensible option. Uh, and I'd used one brand for 30 years before that, so it was a big decision to make, but um, I've not looked back and I'm taking a lot more pictures these days using a Olympus kit. Uh, it's made me a lot more productive and it's made me, I think, a little bit more creative as well. I love this 100 to 400 lens and have been very surprised by it too. Uh, it's great, again, it's keeping in line with the Olympus ethos of portability. It's pretty small, it's quite lightweight for a, a, a lens of this sort. And the great thing is its range, 100 to 400. My favourite way to photograph birds is actually just to grab my lens and camera and to go out and walk and just see what I can find. And with Olympus kit, of course, you know, I can go out very unencumbered. I don't need to take a tripod, so I can just put the camera and lens over my shoulder. So um, when I'm out, this is pretty much the only lens I need when I'm out photographing birds and wildlife. It's great for using teleconverters, both the 1.4 and incredibly the two times teleconverter as well. You get razor sharp pictures using the two times. So that's fantastic. So you're getting a 1600 millimeter length in such a small form. And there are other things too. It focuses down to 1.3 meters. So it's great for insect photography. I've been shooting a lot of butterflies and dragonflies with it. Um, and again, you know, it's so versatile for that. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. You can show the wildlife within the landscape. We can get in for that really tight shot. You can be a lot more creative because you've got all those focal lengths in, in one lens. It's there, you're not having to switch uh, lenses to get something longer or shorter. So you can be very, very quick and nimble with it. Um, so yeah, it's been a great lens to use. One of my specialities really is photographing brown hares. Um, they're very common in this area where I live. And this lens has been absolutely fantastic for doing that. I've been sitting in the middle of the field with my camouflage on and not really knowing at any one point how close the hares are going to come. And I've been able to photograph them within the landscape in this beautiful field full of flowers and also zoom in and get some really lovely portraits of them just peering amongst the daisies. So um, it's been a fantastic lens for that. And because of amazing image quality, this will definitely be in my bag.